My wife is neurodivergent. I'm neurotypical. This is neurotypical behavior part five. Meeting new people. I don't <laughs> I don't have any trouble uh, meeting brand new people every day. It's actually part of my job. I'm extroverted too, so that Are helps you a lot. Extra? You... No. <laughs> every single day I'm gonna meet a brand new person, most likely. And I do home health, so I'm gonna meet them in their house. And they're going to be in a very vulnerable situation, a hard situation, because this has to do with their health. So over time, I've developed the ability to quickly develop rapport with brand new people I just met. And I can relate to brand new people over the young and the restless if I have to. <laughs> you just start talking to them? I just start talking to what them. What do you say? Like, how, do you, how do you do that? Are y'all from here originally? You retired? What did you do for work? You guys have kids? Grandkids? Do you keep like a list of questions? No, it's like a it's like a very well refined algorithm of questions. You have an algorithm? Something yes, something but like that. You don't that. have a narrator. Mm -mm. <laughs> I don't want an algorithm. Does that got me so good? You have so, an algorithm but you don't have a narrator. <laughs> okay. So Okay. <laughs> So there's not like a voice in your head feeding you these questions. Not really. It's just you now just come up with it. It's automatic behavior now. You don't write it down first. Don't write it down. I've done it so many times now that it's it's literally stored in my brain and I can access it like a hard drive. It's always there. You don't feel exhausted after talking to people. No, I feel energized when I build rapport with a stranger. Oh. feel energized? I feel energized when I can build a rapport with a stranger. Yes. Like, and I'm not trying to like, you know, invite him over for dinner that night. It's just, you know, oh, I met somebody new. That's cool. That sounds hard. 